We made it onto a gondola. Everything is going right. I love these tight alleyways. Yeah, me They're too. Like... This is their trash pickup. Sad to say that jet lag won this round. It is four something. It is the first time I have left the hotel of this day. Oh, I hate when this happens. Chris woke up at 3.30. He's turning his back on me. I'm not sure why. Uh, oh, we're going this way, that's why. Uh, he woke up at 3.30 and couldn't get back to sleep and ended up going to breakfast on his own without me. I slept in and slept in and slept in and slept for like, I don't know, 18 hours or something. So we're going to enjoy the rest of the day here in Venice. Gondola ride must happen, drone must happen. Breakfast first must happen, as always, coffee. Of Italy, isn't it so great that we're here in Italy? Yes, I love Italy. It's so beautiful. Feeling better? I've always felt great. I'm amazing. Am I feeling better? Oh, that's not. That's unknowable. Unknowable? I just said I was feeling better. No. Oh. You don't listen. We'll see. All right. What's the plan? We're gonna head through the neighborhoods. We're gonna take a left. Then we're gonna take another left. Then we're gonna end up in the touristy parts. Then we're gonna tourist our way down the Grand Canal, and then uh, tourist our way through a meal. Uh, one thing that is nice about where we are right now is that it seems like there are locals just all over the place. Nobody's speaking other languages but Italian. We've seen a bunch of children, but tried not to film them because Chris keeps getting mad at me. And um, he says I'm gonna get arrested. My wife, the child predator. I'm not a child predator. I just think it's interesting when they're like little foreign children. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Says Epstein. Okay, listen. And dogs. And all the dogs. Okay. Let's go. So we've made it to uh, a Jewish uh, section. section. Yeah. It's uh, got a kosher restaurant. Lots of people wearing yarmulkes uh, around here. It seems like uh, it, it's called uh, Campo de Dieto Novo. So this is a, a Jewish neighborhood. Everybody's out playing. Yeah, this is uh, fairly interesting. It's a huge square, kids playing soccer in it. And in the very center there, there's this like fountain right here that's constantly running and dripping water. And again, you know, going way back, remember that this was here over a thousand years ago. Uh, and uh, <coughs> they were they all just getting their water from there. Interestingly enough, there's also a guard shack right here uh, with uh, it looks like people dressed up in military uh, garb and such. So I, I wonder, you know, is that to protect and, and this particular area? Sharp wire up there. Yeah, I wonder what's on the other side of that though. Yeah. Maybe that's why. Interesting though. It's very very interesting. A lot more um, police presence or armed presence than I've seen in Italy. Period. In this one little section. Yeah. This is where we saw the wells. We made it onto a gondola. Everything is going right. I don't know if it's gonna rain, but we have an umbrella. So it's okay. Alright. Inside this church, uh, Santa Lucia body is here. She is here to rest here. Ah. Uh. Yeah. 
very, very low time, yeah. very happy every year in the end of January and February. Yeah. Uh, this canal is quite dry. Oh, yeah, I think yeah. I read about that. just for one hour. Oh. And uh, the old service, we are still doing it in just six point on the Grand Canal, where you can take the other, the, the, the yeah, 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 no, yeah, no, The Grand Canal, I'm assuming it's very grand. That's like the joke I make every two seconds. And for the connection of all the islands, there are 413 bridges. That's wow. Until We just really enjoyed our uh, gondola tour, and then it started to get chilly. We found ourselves a scarf, and by found, we bought it, and a hat. Hat? Yes, sir. Uh, and then we just came back to the hotel, to the hotel bar, to have a couple drinks. Um, we plan to get up early tomorrow, which means, um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. I don't know what's happening with my jet lag dash, but... Um, I've been up. I've been up way early every morning that we've been here. It's not me. I'm not that guy. I've been up at 7 a.m. for the breakfast thing because I've been like, well, what am I going to do right now? I could sit here and play Magic the Gathering or I could, go, I guess, go eat breakfast and play Magic the Gathering. <laughs> so. I have not had breakfast once. Or Magic the Gathering. I've had no Magic the Gathering. I don't ever have Magic the Gathering, but, but none. None of it has happened. So uh, we've been given some nuts. Nuts. And some drinks, drinks, and uh, we're gonna chill for a little bit and just be in Venice and talk to people who are in Venice who can tell us things about like where the cats are. Hello, there used to be a lot of cats because of the whole um, plague and r rats and Persian cats came over here. But now I don't see cats, I see tons of dogs. And supposedly there are cats, but they're hiding. And uh, can cats help with Corona? Yes. How? Um, just their presence is calming. It's calming. It's and, like self-care. And it helps, you know, you like realize that it's not that bad to wear a mask. Because you're like, well, this cat's pretty cool. I guess I'll comply. And that makes no sense to me. Well, and think about all the people who are walking and getting all upset to go in a grocery store and they're just losing their stuff. Imagine those people had... We're holding a cat. You're right. It's just not that bad. I'll go ahead and put on this mask. Cats for plagues. <laughs> What the hell are we watching? I mean, I guess. I'm just so confused. <laughs> so I pulled a Chris last night in that I woke up at like 4.15 and could not go back to sleep. Um, might be the 18 hours I slept the night before. Don't know. Uh, so I've been waiting and getting ready slowly for it to be an appropriate time to get my husband up. It is now inappropriate. I have not been loud. Anyway, uh, we're going to go have breakfast in the hotel. And then um, really it's, it's a travel to London day. So we're not doing the full room tour that we normally do. For one reason, it's pretty small. I mean, it's not going to take very long. But for the other, this wasn't like a... This wasn't about the room. This was about Venice. But it's cute, so I'll show you a little bit. I like the exposed beams that are up. Those are probably the same exposed beams that have been here for like, you know, hundreds of years. Why do you like them? Because they're not uniform. You can tell that they're hand worked. Now these ones are. See this one right here? And the one the lamp's attached to? Absolutely uniform. But the other ones throughout the room, 
are not, which means that they were worked by hand. Yeah, really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, this place is called AI I Mori de Orient, so it's got each room is slightly different. We don't have a canal view again, you know, whatever. But uh, this is what it looks like outside. And uh, the other thing I have to show you because we're in Europe, I think it's funny, is that it has a bidet. Did you use a bidet? I did not use the bidets. I don't understand it. I, yeah, I'm not. I'm, not, uh, I'm confused. But that's the bathroom. I don't know how to use the three seashells. I don't know how to use the three seashells either. But yeah, this is the room. Ta da! Just walking around and uh hi that that's just there I don't know where Chris is going to see if it's a uh, something to go into I'm not going in I love these tight alleyways. Yeah, me They're too. They're like main thoroughfares. In a walking city, you don't have to design everything super wide, especially when there's not even bikes allowed. <laughs> yeah, no bikes allowed in Venice. This is like totally just that wide. Pretty claustrophobic. I enjoy it. I like it. And it's not dangerous around here. We even asked about, you know, crime just for the sake of it. And apparently there's not much. No. Not many people. It's like a, tourists like, don't do a lot of crimes. So. This is like a village. Everybody knows everybody here. <laughs> so it's hard to commit a crime to be like, Joe, is that you? Joe, no. No molesting, Joe. Don't do that, Joe. This is their trash pickup. This guy drives around. People drop off trash to him in that little bin in the center of the boat. And that's what a garbage truck looks like in Venice. I think my husband was wrong. That other one may have been taking garbage, but this is the garbage truck. It's got a little crane. We got people in outfits. Look at that. Garbage truck. Now where they put the garbage, I don't know. How they have room on a boat that small. Interesting. Why do I find this so fascinating? It's different. Now this is a dope bike. All wood frame, wood wheels. That's insane. So we like to take the back roads where people are actually living. We got little greenery, little backyards. Less tourists. One thing about this place is it's like ripe with Venetian leather. And you look over here, you see Murano glass. There's glass pretty much, not at every shop, but uh, at lots of shops. Little figurines, all kind of different. Some of them are huge, you know. Some of them are little, some of them are jewelry. Some of them are different. But yeah, glass is a big thing, and then of course Venetian leather. Charlie bit me. 
We were, we were watching Italian Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Charlie bit me with his with his chompers. No, he didn't. And uh, looks like we found some amazing chocolate here. What, is this gold with our chocolate? Is this actual chocolate? I think so. Wow. Big old chocolate. Pop. This is actually Venice, and it's funny because while I was in Venice, I was like, we've only been on one island. I, I wanted to check out multiple islands, but these are multiple islands, and so you just get to them by bridges. Um, we stayed holy babies around here. Is that right? Where do we stay? Uh, yeah, we stayed right here. So we stayed around here, but we made it over here quite no, a bit. No, sorry, we stayed right here. This is where we stay, up here. But we crossed the canal, this is the Grand Canal, and checked out over here. This is where we went to get our bus. Yeah, it's pretty big, but totally walkable. 108 islands. <laughs> So I was just saying off camera, which is not how we do things, uh, that Venice is totally a weekend getaway kind of place. Like, you feel like you get to know what Venice is all about in a couple days. And you feel like, like you got you got it on your way out. If I had been there longer, I probably would have done more museums. Um, Lots of yeah, Jesus stuff. More churches, I guess, to see <laughs> more things they stole from other places. Um, even our even our gondola drivers like yeah the Venetians they you know they steal a lot uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like they took it, he said even the saint um, Saint Marco Saint Marco was stolen Marco. from Alexandria in Egypt <laughs> um, so yeah but uh, so I would have done you know a little more of that but I I'm really happy with the amount of time we had mm -hmm. and if you ever have the opportunity to just go for a couple days do it. Yeah, and that whole city memorized by the second day. So, I did like, not. Like I couldn't get lost anymore. So I was like, "Baby, where are we going?" Because this like, feels like the opposite direction. Nope, we're going the right way. Thank <laughs> God, I had. You know, that's uh, it's interesting. It took me so long, so many trips to Amsterdam to uh, figure that one out. But uh, yeah, Venice. Once you get it, you get it. And it's just oh, okay, no problem. Everything looks beautiful, but also like you could get lost in those alleys. I couldn't. I could get lost in those alleys. Get lost in those I would eyes. be sad about it. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. Great time, though. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you're going to do Venice, take a weekend. Yep. That's it. Mm -hmm. Once again, we have come very early for our flight, and I have discovered that there is a lounge that somehow Chris has the Diners Club credit card for, and we are going to go to the lounge. I feel so fancy. Toilets are weird. But British people have weird chips. <laughs> 